Hey guys, today we're looking at some gachapons again. Hey, Crayon Shin Chan again. I do love this cartoon. Uh, I recently did see the Kung Fu Noodles movie, and it was quite good. Like, for a while I thought Shin Chan cartoons lost their charm because they're a little bit too clean. I like, you know, more danger, more pain, like, you know, Looney Tunes kind of stuff, and m more risque jokes from Shin Chan. And we did get a few of those from that movie, as far as I saw, so. Yeah, check out that movie, man. You know, keep watching this video. So here we are. It's been a while since we looked at a uh, Gashapon set, but here's a little sheet of paper. There's a total of six kinds. I wonder if the Shinchan one has sold well enough for a second set, at least in Hong Kong. Uh, the set was sold out quite quickly at Inns Point. Uh, most of the shops didn't really have any, uh, I found one last shop that had some of them, and he wasn't really advertising it on his front door. He, he was just a shop that was selling gashapons in general, so I was just like, do, do you have it? And I was like, yes we do! And and looking at that, uh, the box wasn't quite filled either, it was like almost empty, so... Um, yeah, these sold out pretty quickly in Hong Kong. Hmm. So uh, if we have a second set, uh, most likely get Shin Chan in a you know different color, different uniform, and then some of his other classmates, perhaps his mother, and you know some maybe other more obscure characters, maybe the villain for Action Kamen right there. And by the way, these are the characters we have in Wave One: Shin Chan's dad, uh, Shin Chan himself, Shio, Action Kamen, Bully Bully Diamond, and uh, Ganta Robo. Now, Bully Bully Diamond here was uh, just in that Shin Chan X Hello Kitty special. You actually find that on YouTube. At least with Chinese subtitles. I'm not sure about any English versions. Probably not any, but um, yeah, he's the villain in the Shin Chan slash Hello Kitty mini episode crossover. And they did that because there's a lot of um, Shin Chan X Hello Kitty products out there right now. You know, Hello Kitty wearing the Shin Chan gloves and vice versa. So. Uh, I'm going to do articulation with one of them uh, and Gantobo Bada because he's a bit different because they all have the same. So all of them have the base there and it says Action Kamen right there and uh, they all have the same logo, the uh, Chokubi Dragon which is probably going to be in a thing that they'll put in set 2 if they ever make that. So, And uh, with the name right there, there's a single peg right there that pegs into their feet. All of them have the same basic torso, same molding, just different prints. Their hands are pegged and individually articulated. Hard, shiny plastic. Helmet is, um, I'd like to say, slightly softer, but probably just because of the matte finish, it's just putting me off. But the head... <laughs> pop this off. Is a ball peg. That's cool. Um, I actually see maybe this useful in custom action figures, maybe? Uh, pluck that out. It's a tight fit, but it goes on. So you can look a bit down, a bit up, sideways, sideways. I was actually quite surprised with the ball peg, because something like this, you just think it would just be a regular peg. Just stick the head on there. But no, it's a ball peg, so this extra articulation, it's great. Um, quickly look at Gunter Robot here, because he does have this bulky torso. Now, I think the base of him is the same. He does have the same hand articulations and the same shape hands, that, but are plugged onto this headpiece instead. Now he doesn't have a ball peg for his neck, so it's just round. Actually, I actually think it is a ball peg, but just this armor piece gets in the way. He also has his uh, backpack wing piece that is, see, I think it's glued on. I'm gonna try and remove that from the body and see. Uh, I was right, the body is exactly the same. Got these holes there for the arms, and uh, these arms can actually be unplugged and plugged into there if you want to do that. Base here is a hard plastic, arms are soft plastic, the backpack is soft plastic, so you just got a hard thing in the middle, and the head itself has the ball peg underneath. And it seems that, that they've molded this in a flesh color? Um, I, I guess that's just to like fit in with the budget of some of the other pieces that are also molded in the flesh color. Nothing else is molded in mm, green. So, I don't know. Um, that's what they've done. I, I guess it saves some money, I don't know. Uh, but that means that eventually if this paint scratches off, you'll see flesh underneath. <gasps> Gunter Robot's actually uh, alive and stuff. <laughs> so he just has some silver printing on the fan. He Bully Bully just has his pants printed and colored all the way around him. Uh, Action Carman has his gloves and printing there, nothing on the back. Does have this red thing on his helmet. Shio Cos, uh, mostly white, but he does have his blue collar and head is just adorable. Um, love it. 
Oh, it's uh, it's hot plastic. They feel like very hard gummies. Shin Chan here has his feet printed on front legs, on the front. Let's see, uh, no shoe paint though, so it's just pants and legs, no socks or anything. And the head is fully painted for the most part. And his stand as well, just um, see his uh, shoe color, pants color, his hands painted on the blue arms, and his hair is colored all the way around. So these are these are cool. I like these a lot. Um, they are. I think these figures have a nice balance between cutesy and representing their original looks. Like the heads are properly molded, slightly on the cheapy side, but I think it works well here because it's from an anime, the, the, the manga, the, the characters are already exaggerated. So it works okay right here. All the common molded parts reduces its cost and the common parts do seem to function quite nicely. From the other sets it seems like that, you know, if they do have accessories, uh, the hands do work and they can hold it so that's cool and that's what these little holes are for and maybe you have something else you can give them to you know use and hold up so yeah I'm, I'm quite happy with these this isn't like Funko Pop where they distort the original so much that it just becomes almost impossible to recognize you look at these and you recognize them and if you say pick up the Ultraman or Kamen Rider or even the Avengers like Marvel stuff they look like instantly recognizable too so if you like some of the other brands in this line you might want to consider picking these up because these are nice little desk decorations or shelf decorations that i think look good still represent the character but with just enough cutesy to it so yeah i like this stuff a lot and like i said they have released a few sets of ultraman a few sets of Kamen rider and i think just one set for now but it was a big set it was like 12 characters for infinity war and endgame so if you like avengers you like cute chibi stuff i think this is a good set to go and i hope this line continues to grow i just really like the balance that they have between cutesy and the character designs which i think funko pop totally missed and i think something like lego has done really well so yeah pretty cool in terms of Shin Chan stuff, they've also announced Premium Bandai is going to be selling the little butt Godzilla thing that they have. That's cool. It's a full scale replica. It's, uh, you know, a hollow Sofubi plastic. It's like a hollow vinyl figure. And the price seems decent enough. And it's to scale to what Shin Chan would have as well. So, uh, since I only have the figure for Gunter Robot, I'm going to pick this one up as well. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. When I, was, when I was younger, I did have one of those hollow Godzilla figures. For some reason, they had like really red lips, like he had lipstick. And I always always pop his arms and tail off because, you know, those hollow things, you can just do that and put them back on. So that was kind of cool. And in a way, he did have like character eating functions because his mouth opens and he's just a hollow body. So you put figures in there, pop his tail off and things will fall out. So uh, that's pretty cool. Don't have that anymore, but having this butt dino, butt kaiju thing would be kind of nostalgic and kind of funny because it's Crayon Shin Chan, so that's cool. I don't remember which movie, but uh, there was a magic entity that took control of this butt thing, and but he still moved like the plastic toy, so he couldn't really move properly. So he's got this little butt just, just moving along. It's it's cool. So yeah, I'm rambling on now. So uh, if you like this video, found this video useful, please click the thumbs up button, share it with other people as well, and leave a comment below if you picked up any of these other uh, character sets from your know, different. From different lines as well and how do you think about those as always you can all support this channel by turning our blog off heading over to patreon and all that good stuff and you know head over to facebook that's fun too i always post stuff on there and if anyone you know comments and stuff i would reply and i'll try to anyway as always take care have a nice day i'll see you guys soon bye bye now